Hello, thank you all for joining today. It looks like we have a full house and it's about 12.30 p.m. So for the sake of time, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Adeze Obwaku and I am the sales engineer here at HubSpot. In case you don't know HubSpot, we are a CRM company. We are cloud-based and we help companies keep a better track of their information, of their customers, as well as, you know, being able to monitor and track all of the inform information and interactions that happen between those customers and the company. Um, so we have a few different hubs um, from the marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, and CMS hub, as well as the operations hub. So because we know that your company has had some pain points involving um, managing information, customer data, and all of those other ins and outs. We want to dig into the operations hub. And then if you're interested in, you know, dealing with those other hubs, we can schedule another demo that's going to be more in depth and really hit on those pain points a bit harder. Are there any other points that you would like to look at or any other features you would be looking for in a CRM software? Yes, we definitely do have capability for being able to lead gen as well as manage marketing analytics. So that would be in our marketing hub. We can definitely dive into that in another demo um, just for the sake of time. I think it would be best to be able to separate that into its own demo. How's that? All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna look at a high level of the operations hub and really be able to see how we can foster that connection between your customers and your company. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen. Can you see my screen? Please put a yes in the chat or feel free to come off mute. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the operations portion of HubSpot, um, which we call Operations Hub. So we're specifically in the data sync area. So this is where we're able to allow all of the information about your customers coming from different areas to integrate into one area so that you're able to look in one platform and be able to see all of the customer's information without saying, wait, let me go to Outlook, let me go to MailChimp, let me go here, let me go there. You're able to see it in one platform. So just, you know, to ask you, how do you currently manage your customer's information? What, what does that look like in current state? Okay, so Excel sheets, are those Excel sheets integrated to any other software or is that manually updated? Okay, great, great, good to know, good to know. So, you know, at HubSpot, one thing that is really beneficial for us is that we're able to use APIs to really integrate all of that information and pull that out from your different softwares where your com customer's information would be stored and pull it into our platform to have one main sector where you're seeing exactly what the customer is saying and what their information is no matter what platform that customer information came in on. So with data sync, you're able to easily set that up no matter what app you're using. So whether it's coming from your contacts or your email, once you start going through data sync, you're able to pull all that information into one uh, unified platform. So if I click on Google contacts, I'm able to see where that information is coming from and where it's going to go to. So if I want to sync my Google contacts to my HubSpot, I'm able to say, okay, I want to choose Google contacts to my HubSpot contacts. So, and just like that, you're able to, you're able to integrate your Google contacts to your HubSpot contacts in areas where there are discrepancies, where there may be conflicting data. We like to use the HubSpot data to override any conflicting data. And then we're also able to map out how that data is stored, such as first name, the last name, middle name, middle initial, or however you would specifically like that to be stored based on the way that that customer information comes to you. If you need more customization, we can go ahead and you know work that out in our onboarding process, but just from a high level, this is what the app would look like at face value. 
So at the end, you would be able to save your sync so that whatever custom settings you set will be applied once you go ahead and lead that sync. All right. So at that point, your sync would be active and it's now syncing any information that would come from Google contacts and that will go straight to um, the HubSpot contacts. So with the sync health, you're able to see if you're really syncing that information properly. Is it really coming through correctly? Are you really pulling that data in the way that it's intended to? Sometimes when you intend for a sync to happen, you're able to see, okay, maybe these certain words are not coming through or there are gaps that need to be filled. So with the sync health, you're able to see how effective that sync is being. Are there any questions at this time? Well, I have a question for you. So do you all have issues with maybe you type in, you have a field that says first name or full name, but they're switched somehow, you know? So we also have a feature where you're able to really control that. And so that's part of the seeing health as well, being able to detect were we really getting that first name or the full name? And just using that AI feature to help us, you know, determine that health. All right, so we've got confetti coming down. So this is showing you that HubSpot is pulling out that data, those first names and those last names and all of the other information that you listed in your custom fields as what is being pulled. So that's the end of this demo. And so that showed us specifically um, the data sync for Google Contacts. We can also find that with MailChimp, Outlook, or any other um, platforms that you have that would um, house your customer information. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up that marketing demo just for more information because we spoke about that at the beginning of the call. I really think that would be beneficial because I know your company really relies heavily on their marketing practices. So if there's no further questions, I want to thank you again so much for joining me for this brief demo. And, you know, I want you all to have a great rest of your day and I look forward to hosting that marketing demo with you. All right. Thank you. Well, from HubSpot to you, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.